Good evening. Some of the country's top rap music artists have been paying tribute to a Birmingham rapper who was stabbed to death at the weekend. 18-year-old Joshua Rivera, whose stage name was Depp's Man, was seen as a rising star. According to West Midlands Police, knife-related offences actually dropped from almost 3,000 between April 2011 and April 2012 to just over 2,200 for the same period last year. But Josh Ribera's death and the fatal stabbing of 16-year-old Azim Azam at a bus stop in Moseley last week brought the total of fatal stabbings in Birmingham to four in the past six months. Holly Lewis reports. I'm a blow in this thing, yeah, I have to. Make my mum proud of my dad too. Gotta to stay on the straight and narrow. Car one day I'm gonna be a dad too. Josh Ribera rapped about making his parents proud and having his own family one day. But instead, his relatives and friends are left grieving, shocked by his untimely death. Recording under the name Dubs Man, 18-year-old Josh is currently number one in the iTunes hip-hop album charts. Wolverhampton-based record producer Jameen Walters said he had a bright future. He was on the wall to big things. He was definitely known by most people within the grime scene nationally. And in terms of locally, he was definitely one of, definitely, I'd say, the top five artists in the scene at the moment in the Midlands, undoubtedly. Josh Ribera died here in Selly Oak. He was on his way back from a memorial concert to remember 16-year-old Kyle Sheehan, a close friend of his, who was stabbed to death in Bartley Green last September. Josh's friends say they hope his high profile will at least make people talk about knife crime. Depth is like known and he's looked up to by so many kids and like he could, like, seriously, like, this could change everything we get home. Last Monday, 17-year-old Azim Azam was stabbed to death as he got off a bus in Moseley. Some local politicians say they fear Birmingham is becoming the stabbing capital of Britain. The police need to be much more open with their communication. I think they also need to be much more involved in schools. There's a strong education element that needs to be a part of this. But the police say it's not just up to them to get the message across. It really is about everybody. Uh, taking every opportunity they can to reinforce to young people if you carry a knife you're likely to end up stabbed or you're likely to end up in prison. This evening two 18 year old men are being questioned by police about Josh Ribera's death but his friends say his music and his message will live on. Holly Lewis, BBC Midlands Today, Selly Oak. Meanwhile teachers at a Birmingham school have voted to stop teaching a teenage boy who threatened other pupils with a knife. The boy was permanently excluded from Saltley School after a serious incident, but governors has since, have since overturned the decision. The move has angered parents and teachers, as Ben Godfrey reports. In May, West Midlands police were called to Saltley School in Birmingham after reports a pupil was threatening others with a knife. Officers took no further action. The school decided to permanently exclude the teenage boy. But before the summer holiday, governors here decided the pupil should be allowed back into classes. This parent, who has two children at Salty School, told me she's concerned for the safety of pupils. She doesn't want to be identified. This young boy threatened several children, and you can imagine the dilemma we're facing. You know, what's going to happen in school? Is this boy going to hurt one of our children? What happens if he does hurt one of them? It really does scare us. It's clear some teachers also have concerns. Following a ballot, the NASUWT union says its members have voted to refuse to teach the pupil and are in further talks with the school. In a statement, the head teacher Balwan Bain said, I have total confidence in the safety of all pupils and staff at Saltley School. He said, we did have one incident recently that I consider to be very serious and it went through due process. The needs of all pupils are being met, he added. Tonight, local Labour councillors are calling for an investigation. I think it's very important, considering the, the recent uh, stabbings of youngsters in, in Birmingham, two in particular, very recently. So there's a lot of unrest amongst the community uh, and the youngsters. So I think it's really important that a thorough investigation must take place. Birmingham City Council says it's acting as a mediator. This year, Ofsted gave Saltley School a good rating and found that their students are being kept safe. Ben Godfrey, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Well, with me now is the Deputy Police and Crime Commissioner for the West Midlands, Yvonne Mosquito. Good evening. Good evening. Another young person stabbed to death in Birmingham. It seems like you're losing the battle on knife crime. No, we're, we're not losing the battle. Um, another life is obviously too many lives. 
and it's tragic and we just want to express our condolences to the family of those who've lost um, their, their loved ones in these horrible circumstances. But over the past decade, crime has actually, knife crime has gone down. It hasn't actually increased. It's no consolation to any member, any family that has lost someone, but, but that's the reality. Knife crime has gone down. But it is still occurring. I mean, we've had four young people killed yes. by stabbings in the last six months. And you seem to have launched lots of initiative over that time, but yes. it's still happening. It is, and it is horribly unfortunate. And the, the fact that we've lost life in these circumstances is horrible, but crime has gone down. Over the decade, 50% of, of all knife crime has gone, has been reduced. The police are working with the community, with schools, with local organizations, crime stoppers. Marcia Shakespeare, who lost her own child in horrible circumstances, has seen over 45,000 youngsters in schools in Birmingham with Rob Ped Ped Pedley, who is actually a firearms officer. So there's been a lot of work that's been going on. But is it enough, Yvonne? This is a thing, a charity we've spoken to today who works with young offenders has said that some of those young people are scared and you can understand yes. that oh absolutely and I would say it's never enough we, we all have a duty to work together to reduce this one life is too much four lives is too much any life gone in these circumstances is tragic so we all have a duty and I think I'm hearing from my colleagues that we want to work together to educate young people and the young people themselves actually want to do something about it so this call for a, a knife amnesty is something I would support because it's coming from young people and just briefly, do you think that the governors at Saltley School were right to reinstate that pupil? Well, I don't know the facts of the case, but I will be speaking to the Chief Constable tomorrow with Bob Jones and find out what's actually gone on there. Okay, Yvonne Mosquito, thank you. Thank you. Coming up.